Winner Home on Afternoon Express, where three design contestants are turning three empty properties at Valdivia Estate in the Cape Islands into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesar Stone and Plascon. Vote for your favourite and you could win. Today is the big day that we reveal the final products of our design contestants' kitchens. But before we get to those, let's take a closer look at a collaboration between Minentle, One Design and Grass to create his unique kitchen. How kitchens have changed over the years is that uh, the kitchen used to just be a workspace, somewhere stuck in the corner of the house, whereas now it is an extension of the home itself. Families very rarely these days sit at a dining room table, so lots of uh, islands, breakfast nooks, eating areas are incorporated into the kitchen itself. What people neglect most is actually what makes a kitchen move, and that's the hardware. There's a lot of focus on the outside look of the kitchen, on the design, on the colours, um, yet the hardware is the, the thing that they skimp on and that's where a lot of people make the mistake. When you choose your hardware, it needs to be a good brand, a quality brand and that'll make your kitchen last longer. And this home here, what we've tried to do is take uh, pieces of furniture, freestanding, and amalgamate them with the built-in cupboards, which is a modern take, and blends in with the rest of the lounge and dining area. This technology has changed kitchen design. Your, your kitchen becomes more practical. You're using optimal spaces, you're using all your corners. Um, from that point of view, that's how the, the technology in our hardware has changed the look, the feel, and the design of, of, of the kitchen. With the technology that we use in a kitchen like this, it makes it extremely easy for anyone using the kitchen uh, to operate. Nice opening and soft closing hinges and drawers, runners, makes it easy to use. And then the integrated appliances that we use aren't just um, something that's an afterthought. It has to be considered in the functionality of the kitchen and the aesthetically pleasing value that it adds to the kitchen. The other system incorporated is the corner solutions um, where you can store items not used regularly. Um, and then we also have the recycling bin systems, the spice pullouts, um, and then also your larder pullouts. There's many varieties of an exposed storage behind glass doors, open floating shelves. It all depends on the environment and uh, it is an extension of the home. It can be modern floating shelves or you can have beveled glass cottage pane doors um, or you can have hanging pots above the island, something different just to bring in a little bit of copper or steel to break up the monotony of stone and timber. With our runner systems you can go very wide, you can go up to 1200 millimetres and that also then gives you a option of going with a 60 kilogram version and that allows you to optimise the packing space in your drawers. The contestants have incorporated international trends by using stone in specific ways. So what Manantle has done is demarcated in a breakfast nook eating area as well as an accent over the side of the island uh, with stone and there's something different and adds a different touch. What Rudolph has done is brought in a minimal look with an industrial look slightly rustic and then using lighting in specific areas, under counter, strip lighting and brought an overseas trend into something that I find is quite uniquely South African. Well, now it's time to find out if our design contestants took this to heart to create beautiful modern kitchens that are both functional and on trend. Let's head over to Valduvi. The kitchen countdown is complete. Let's go see what creativity has been unleashed. Joanne is up first. Joanne, how's it? Hi. Neighbor, I came Welcome. to ask for a cup of sugar. Yes. I have these sticks for you. <laughs> Maybe not a cup, but a stick of sugar will do. This place looks absolutely amazing. Really, really proud of you. Talk me through how you've managed to bring your ideas to life. So I went for a very clean uh, layout. We have two panels here of cabinets. And the island is very practical. It's in the middle and it works very well. And then I went for something different and dramatic. Uh, I went for the dark cabinets and to contrast that I bought in the white Caesar stone and then I've also added white appliances just to finish it off and then the last element that I love is the black tap that matches with all the other plumbing fixtures in the house. In the previous challenge the judges said that you've been quite minimalist in all your other rooms and I wanted to see some bravery come out of you. What do you think Ark is going to say about this space? I think Ark will like the sleekness of this design. It's a bit different to the other understated spaces that I created. The shiny copper elements that are hidden here and there but you can still see them if you're sitting at the right angle just to add to the glamorous Valdivie lifestyle. And I think Ark will 
dislike the difference, the dark the dark kitchen with the white contrasting Caesar stone. Simon's going to want to know how you've added value to this property and increased its marketability. How have you added value to the property? The elements I love in this kitchen is the feature wall behind me that is made of Caesar stone and it's permanently fixed here so you can't remove it. Also the Smeg appliances, you can't go wrong with that in any space. If there's one thing that I've learned from my discussions with Anne, is that colour and mood are intrinsically linked. You've gone for a very nice dark feel here, and when I walked into this kitchen, it just felt like I walked into a chocolate slab. So when I was working with Wood Lab, they suggested that I go for a, for the dark kitchen because it just adds that dramatic feel that you need in a, in a living area. And in my other spaces, I went for the very white colours, and now in this space, I'm doing the, the opposite. I'm going for dark with a bit of white. Well, even if I do say so myself, you've got a very sweet kitchen. Good luck. Thanks. I'm gonna steal another one. Don't tell anyone. <laughs>Man, what a beautiful kitchen, and I hope you loved it too. Minentle is up next, who's got a lot to prove after winning the previous challenge. Minentle, this is such a bold design. I really love it. It's almost like it's in mint condition. Ah. <laughs> Tell me what is the inspiration and what is so minentle about this spot? What I chose to do is go for a, a U-shape um, kitchen and have that one wing relate to the dining area and the lounge because the kitchen is becoming a space that's relative to the rest of the home so things are now more open plan. But at the same time, I chose to keep my storage at the back so that the, this wing is very open. In terms of design, I've incorporated a, an, an integrated dishwasher and I've lifted the drying area so that you have more space on the countertops because I really wanted to create this open space where one can interact with the dining area and the lounge. As the winner of the previous challenge, the judges are keeping a close eye on you. What do you think each judge is going to say about this space? What I think someone will like is how I've included the overhead shelves, which maximize the storage and how I've integrated the appliances, which adds value to the space. What Arc would like about this space is the detailing I've gone for with regards to the flooring, um, in terms of defining the kitchen as a space, but at the same time having this transition detail that links it to the rest of the spaces. And taking that up with the paints on the wall just to define the, the kitchen vertically. What they'll also like is my bold use of color and the materiality of the whole space with the timber and the Caesar stone tops which add um, a contrast of texture, but at the same time, they all come together with the, with the color of the paint. Well, Minentle, I think it looks fantastic. It's all up to the judges now, but I really think you're on a roll. <laughs> now that is some creative use of Caesar Stone. Our final contestant is Rudolf. Let's go see what he's got cooking in the kitchen. Rudolf, Bear, this yeah. place is amazing. Awesome, hey? Thank you. Yeah, we were expecting good. you. Celebrating already. Yeah. I'll celebrate yes. with you. Well done. <laughs> so talk nice. me through how this all came to life. What were your ideas and how did it all come together? When I briefed Beth in the beginning, I asked her to think about how we can incorporate more traditional um, living, but also have a space where people can be entertained and live around the kitchen. And then we looked at the brief of incorporating very nice smeg appliances that gives a more traditional look to the space, but also add contemporary light and contemporary fixtures that would actually go with it. So Beth, with all those great ideas, how did you interpret this brief? And the challenge was we had a compact space in which we had to make more open and create an illusion of more space. And here what we did was we used kind of modular units, freestanding, open, some interesting open displays, and we combined all of that to create like a fresh, relaxed feel. All right, so Anne is going to want to ask you about your color scheme in here. You've gone for sort of dark fixtures with a little bit of light. Yes, well, that contradiction between the dark and the light is something that's really excites an interior space. But I also have a popping color of blue. What do you think Ark's thoughts are going to be when they walk into the space and just explore? Ark will really like how we looked at the inside of the cupboard space and compact living and how we can make it more functional with the limited space that we have. Simon's going to want to know how you've added value in this kitchen. We've added uh, integrated appliances into the space, but also some freestanding units. And we also looked at the materials used, like the Caesar stone that we incorporated in full slabs. And we also cladded the walls in Caesar stone, which is great. So Beth, how is this kitchen going to stand out? Well, I think a lot of people tend to take kitchens and floor to ceiling of units. And here we haven't done that. We've kind of gone with a modular look. It is different. It's not keeping in with the safe kind of designs that we all go towards. 
And your personal favorite thing about this space? For me, it's the island. I think it's beautiful, this beautiful, elegant Caesar stone. And with the open and you can sit around it, we can actually move it if we wanted to for entertainment. But it's a prep surface and an entertainment for everyone. It caters for all. Well, I'm very impressed, guys. Congratulations, you pulled it off. Thank cheers. you. Cheers. Thank cheers. You. Cheers. 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 And cheers to you. If you want to win big on Win Home and Afternoon Express, go to privateproperty.co.za. Click on the Win a Home link and vote for your favorite kitchen. That'll enter you into the grand prize competition to win a home right here at Valdevi. Until Monday, when you guys get judged. Ciao, ciao. It's time to see how well our design contestants stuck to budget. Team VC had a projected budget of 81,000 Rand without appliances. Her actual budget spent was 43,200 Rand, so she spent a lot less than planned. Team Real Estate had a projected budget of 56,500 Rand. In the end, they spent 56,449 Rand, which is the closest to budget anyone has stuck to so far. Team L Decoration had a conservative budget of 32,500 Rand and ended up spending only 26,262. Remember that you are also a judge on Winner Home. You have the chance to change one of our design contestants' lives forever. So head over to privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite now. Vote for your favorite design contestant's kitchen on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance of winning a tulip dining chair by guideline to the value of 6,890 Rand. You also automatically get entered into the draw to win one of the three finished apartments valued at over 3 million Rand. Winner Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with NetBank.